How to pass the capstone exam. Hi, welcome to Kaplan and myself, Mark Baines. I'm the lead lecturer here at Kaplan Financial, not only having taught the capstone level, but also QP module 12 as well. And the number one preferred lecture for all the big four, having had many prize winners, having taught many, many years, and many students since being working here. Let's get into the actual capstone course. First of all, you'll get my own exclusive tailor-made set of notes. These cover the nine important M12 capstone syllabus areas because M12 is the real focus of the capstone exam. Those nine syllabus areas, they cover around about 80 to 90% of the total exam topics tested. Not only the knowledge, but also include past questions as well and my own recommended solutions so you can better learn, better understand each of the capstone important areas. My notes are also very exam focused. They have a logical topic flow. So they provide you with focus. They narrow your studies so you know exactly what's important for your capstone exam. And then nearer exam time, I have a very important final revision review video. I'm going to show you in this presentation here uh, the sort of things that I go through in that final revision review. Let's get back to the question, though. How to pass the capstone exam? Well, I think important here is, first of all, the knowledge. So we've got those nine capstone syllabus areas. Second of all is application. So exam techniques, we spend a lot of time going through question practice during the actual course. And then finally, when you get the pre-seen case scenario, that's when you know the industry, maybe issues, and then lots of preparation on that. This is what we cover during my actual capstone course. So first of all, let's start with the actual knowledge. What you get is two sets of notes. These sets of notes cover around about 300 pages. So here's our set one set of notes. And you can see the logical uh, flow here of the order. So look, here's set one. Uh, we first will start with developing business strategy. So thinking about where the business wants to go. Formulating business decisions is then thinking about how we're going to get there. And of course, once we've decided what it is we want to do, next then we start thinking about implementing business solutions. So what I do is we go through these nine topic areas, also linking up each of the areas here as well as we go through. And then, of course, spending much more time on the detailed area topics. So here, for instance, is our topic two. This is on formulating business decisions. And we go through many decision areas. So here, for instance, is joint ventures and alliances. And what's quite popular in the capstone exam is often asking things like advantages or benefits or disadvantages of risks of various business decisions. They also like to ask things like strategic corporate benefits or strategic corporate disadvantages or risks or financial or operational, etc., etc., etc. In topic three, we start thinking about financial reconstruction, downsizing strategies of which there are many, divestment, spin-offs, demergers. But as you're going to see, in the June 2023, they focused on share buybacks and privatization. So again, in my set of notes, we go into greater detail here. This is looking at share buybacks. This is buy back 100% of the shares to delist, or in other words, take the company off the stock exchange and go into what's known as privatization. Again, look, you can see strategic corporate benefits or reasons or disadvantages or again and our risks. We also need to focus on application as well. So it's important that we practice lots and lots of capstone past questions. And for that, in my set of notes, again, I include lots and lots of past questions here. Before we start getting into the written questions, first of all, I'm always demonstrating to you guys, look, there'll be important parts of the pre-seen case scenario that are important to apply when they ask you the questions on the exam day. We go through lots and lots of question practice, and what I use is lots of exam techniques. So to get these important application skills, it's all about analyzing. Pay attention to what they're asking you. What is the requirement about? 
design is then thinking about, well, what information are they giving me? What are the facts? What are the issues in the scenario? What is the examiner providing you with that he wants you to use to answer the question? And then implement is then writing up your answer to actually maximize the marks. During the course, we go through many, many questions and we use lots and lots of these exam techniques. And then of course, nearer exam time, what you guys get is the pre-seen case scenario. So these are released five working days before the actual exam. And the key point here is that you've already gained the knowledge. You know the nine topic areas, you know the application skills, and then when we get this pre-seen, there'll be important things in it. So here, for instance, this is from June 2023, and it wasn't just mentioning privatization, they're also talking about a series of share buybacks. So a series, that would mean a partial amount, a small amount of shares being bought back. So what I then perform is a final revision review video, and this is where I go back to my set of notes and say, look, in my set of notes, we talked about privatization, 100% of the shares being bought back, but be aware if there's a partial share buyback or partial repurchase. And then I then start going through things such as the, again, the advantages, the benefits, the reasons of a partial share buyback or repurchase, and what could be bad about doing that also as well. Then on exam day, you guys are in the exam room, you get your questions. Let's have a little look, for instance, here through question one, the sort of things I was asking us about. Well, here, look, you can see on exam day, they was asking you here about implications, the advantages, the pros, the disadvantages, the cons of share buybacks. That was for nine marks. Another six mark question here, again, about purchasing of shares. And then finally, a 12 mark question here about joint ventures. And look, they always want you to think about things like strategic aspects or financial aspects as well. What a student to say about my capstone course. Well, this is our feedback here from our capstone course. And we ask students what areas are particularly good. They said Mark is the true market leader. Uh, the notes are mentioned how good they were three times. The length for the notes, the lecturer, the course structure, topics particularly good. It's exam focused, it's detailed notes, and Mark's course being the best, very knowledgeable, and with detailed notes. If you want more about our course information and the programs here at Kaplan, uh, you can look at the website there. We've got the telephone number and emails as well. The last thing I'll say is good luck in getting passed in the capstone exam. Thanks for listening and hope to see you guys on the course very, very soon.